Hello, thank you for tuning in to read another story with me. Today, we are actually going to be reading a longer story and then a shorter one as well. We're going to be talking about the difference between facts and opinions. A fact is something that you can prove to be true. And it's true all the time, no matter who's saying it. So a fact about me right now is I'm wearing a gray sweatshirt. That's a fact. Anyone who saw me who looked at my sweatshirt would say, that's gray. Another fact is that I'm in my house right now. That's a fact. I can prove I'm nowhere else, but I'm right here in my house. An opinion is something that you can say that describes how you feel or how you think about something, but maybe someone else could have a different feeling or a different thought. So I could say as an opinion, gray sweatshirts are the best sweatshirts in the whole world. I might feel that that's true. You might sit there and say, I don't think gray sweatshirts are the best in the entire world. I think blue sweatshirts are the best in the entire world. Do you see how we each have our own opinion? My opinion is that gray sweatshirts are the best. Your opinion might be that blue sweatshirts are the best. It's not true for everyone. So if it's a fact, it's true for everyone. If it's an opinion, it's not necessarily true for everyone, okay? You might be able to, someone might be able to disagree with you. So let's see if we can try and listen to a short story real quick. This is a nonfiction story and I just want you to listen here. This is a story that someone wrote about dogs and they called it, Dogs Are Great. Is that a fact or an opinion? Can you prove that dogs are great for every single person? I bet there's someone in the world who thinks dogs are not great. Maybe they're scared of dogs. So that makes dogs are great an opinion. It is not true for everyone. Let's l listen. Dogs are the best pets. They can walk and play with people. Okay, can dogs walk and play with people? Can you prove that? Yeah, you can. You could look that up on the internet and find that to be true. Are dogs the best pets? Do you think everyone would agree? Maybe someone might think, no, I think cats are the best pets or fish are the best pets. So that might not necessarily be true. That's an opinion. They have paws and a tail. Is that a fact? Yep, we all have to agree. Dogs have paws and a tail. Could someone say, no, I don't think they do. They'd be wrong. It's a fact. Dogs have paws and a tail. Some dogs wag their tails when they are happy. That's a fact. I could look that up on the internet. My dog does great tricks. Think. Is that a fact or an opinion? Is that something that's true? That you could prove that everyone thinks is true? My dog does great tricks. Someone might look at your dog's tricks and say, I don't think they're that great. That's not nice, but someone could say that. Not everyone has to agree. She always makes me smile. Everyone should have a dog. I think that everyone should have a dog is the person who wrote this. It's, it's their opinion. I don't think everyone should have a dog. I have two little kids, Benny and Robbie, and I don't think I should have a dog because my hands are so full. I'm busy with them all the time. So it wouldn't make sense for me to have a dog because I couldn't take care of it. That's my opinion. I think everyone should not have a dog. Whereas their opinion is, they think everyone should have a dog. Are you starting to hear the difference between some of those facts and opinions? Facts are true for everybody. Opinions are not true for everybody. People can have differing opinions. All right, let's read another book. This is written by Dr. Seuss. I'm going to say a sentence. I want you to think, is it a fact or an opinion? I think Dr. Seuss is the best author in the entire world. Is that a fact? Does everyone in the world, can everyone in the world say that? Some people might think someone else is a better author. That's okay. So I think Dr. Seuss is the best author. That's my opinion. It's what I think. It's what I feel. Someone else might feel differently. That's okay. We're going to be reading What Pet Should I Get? Now, there are some facts and opinions hidden in this story, so I want to see if you can think of them, okay? 
We want a pet. We want a pet. What kind of pet should we get? Dad said we could have one. Dad said he would pay. I went to the pet shop. I went there with Kay. And so we went in. Is that a fact that they went to the pet shop or an opinion? Could you prove that they went there? Yep. Here's the picture. They're walking in. Could someone look at that and say, no, I don't think that they actually went to the pet store. No, there's proof. There's a picture and there's words telling us that happened. It's a fact. I took one fast look. I saw a fine dog who shook hands, so we shook. So I said, I want him. But then Kay saw a cat. She gave it a pat and she said, I want that. Then Kay said, now what do you think we should do? Dad said to pick one. We cannot take home two. Then what do you know? We saw two other kinds. Now how could Kay and I make up our minds? A pup and a kitten, they looked like good fun. Now which would we pick? We could only pick one. So he's thinking the dog and the pup look like more fun. She's saying the cat and the kitten look like more fun. They each have their own opinion. He likes the dogs. She likes the cats. He thinks the dogs would be best. She thinks the cats would be best. They each have their own opinion. Make up your mind. The dog, the cat, or the dog, the kitten, the pup. Oh boy, it is something to make a mind up. Then I looked all around. I saw something with wings. I said, look at him. We can pick one that sings. But then, look over there, said my sister Kay. We can go home with a rabbit today. That's the fact that it's saying birds have wings. That's a fact. You can prove that. All birds have wings. The bird can sing. You can prove that. You can listen to it. Those are facts about the birds. They're not his opinion. They're facts. Then I looked at Kay. I said, what will we do? I like all the pets that I see. So do you. We have to pick one pet and pick it out soon. You know mother told us to be back by noon. So both of their opinion is they like all of the pets. If I went there, I might say, mm, I don't like those dogs. I... I like them, but I don't want one as my pet. I might like the cat as the pet, or the fish, or the bird. And I could have done it. I could have, I bet. I could have said what pet we should get, but you know what Kay did. Do you know what she did? She said, fish, 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 fish. It may be a fish is the pet that we wish. Then I saw a new kind, and they were good too. How could I pick one? Now what should we do? We could only pick one. This is what my dad said. But how could I make up that mind in my head? Make up your mind. Pick a pet fast. Pick one out soon. Mother and dad said to be home by noon. The time may be now to make up my mind, but who knows what other good pets I might find. I might find a new one, a fast kind of thing, who would fly around my head in a ring on a string. Yes, that would be fun, but our house is so small. This thing on a string would bump bump into the wall. My mother, I know, would not like that at all. So it's a fact that this pet goes around on a string on his head. His mother's opinion is that would not be a good pet because it would bump into their walls. She wouldn't like that. Someone else might say, I don't care if it bumps into my walls. I want that as a pet. They have a different opinion. So maybe some other good kind of pet. Maybe another kind maybe is what we should get. We might find a new kind of pet who is tall. A tall pet who fits in a space that is small. My mother might like this pet best of them all. If we had a big tent, then we would be able to take home a yent. Dad would like us to have a good yent, but how do I know he will pay for a tent? So you see how it is when you pick out a pet. How can you make up your mind what to get? But what if we took one of each kind of pet? Then our house would be full of the pets we could get. No, Dad would be mad. We can only have one. If we do not choose, we will end up with none. I will do it right now. I will do what I said. I will make up that mind that is up in my head. The dog or the rabbit, the fish or the cat. I picked one out fast and then that was that. All right, your challenge today. Can you pick out one fact from this book and one opinion? All right, thanks for reading with me. Have a good day. Bye.